Well, hi, this is Rebecca again. We're working with an InDesign and we're going to be printing to the Xerox Phaser 7800 color printer using the print booklet feature in InDesign. Now we are printing a 20 page booklet. It says 18 here, but we actually have two pages that are page A and B. And then we start the third page as page one and how we did that is we double clicked on page one or even page uh, A. You can do your numbering in sections. We've talked about this on in previous classes, but you can tell it to start the section at page one and hit okay. So if you need that additional information, it's also in um, the previous recording on how to print to the 7400. Now what I'm going to do to print this booklet is I'm going to go to file, print booklet. Now by default, there will be a few things checked on and off. Automatic, automatically adjust to fit marks and bleeds will be on. Print blank printer spreads will be off. So I need to click print blank, blank printer spreads. Make sure that's checked. Uncheck automatically adjust and type in 0.125 inches for the bleed. So we want to go ahead and set that here. We're going to set it in another place as well. Click that link icon and it, or that lock icon chain and it makes them all the same. Now, if I hit preview, by default, I might see something that looks like, let me just do this real quick, look like, looks like that. This means your page or your paper at the printer isn't big enough to fit the pages of your book. So the next thing I'm going to do, and it even gives you a warning and it tells you click on print settings to fix this. So I click on print settings and I'm going to choose um, the color Xerox Phaser 7800. Now, if you have the 7400 selected, it'll print to the 7400, and if you have the 8100, it'll print to the black and white. So make sure you're doing the 7800 if you want to do the 7800. Uh, make sure print blank pages is checked on. It will not be checked on by default in this general area. Here's general there, general there. So click on print blank pages. I'm going to click on setup now, which is under the word general over here on the far left. Far left. And in the paper size, I add, can, well, I can't choose tabloid, can't choose tabloid extra, so I'm going to choose define by driver, and we'll figure out how to fix that. Make sure scale to fit is turned off, and by default, this will be upper left, so make sure you choose on page position to be centered. Marks and bleeds, as always, we turn crop marks on and registration marks on, and we uncheck use document bleed settings, and we type in 0.125, and make sure they're all the same. Now, on to page setup. Now, page setup is in the lower, let me cancel this, it's in the lower left hand corner, you click on that, where it says format for any printer, that's bad. You wanna make sure you have that as Xerox Phaser 7800. It needs to be the same as the printer in the previous print menu box. And in here, we don't have tabloid. Now you'll see some grayed out, uh, may see some of these. You see it on my video. You won't see it on yours. These are custom sizes I've already created. But we need to create custom sizes. So when you um, click on paper size, US letter, you want to click on manage custom sizes. Now these won't be there, so I'm going to click on them and hit the delete button. You will not have that. To create a custom size, you'll hit the plus sign. Then you'll double click on the word untitled. And you can type in the name and the size of that paper. Tabloid is 11 by 17. I will come over to paper size and type in 11 and for the height uh, I will type 17. So it's 11 wide, 17 tall and I usually like to tighten up those margins where it doesn't print so I'm uh, putting in 0.12, it won't take 0.125 so and I have to do that manually, I can't copy and paste. and I hit OK. Now what is set is 11 by 17 paper. However, if you need larger paper, you can go to Manage Custom Sizes and you can create a Tabloid Extra, which is uh, 12 by 18. So in the width, I'm going to type in 12, and in the height, I'm going I'm to type in 18. And again, I have to type in 0.12 in all of these non-printable areas. This is that little white strip around the page. It just doesn't print edge to edge. Um, just making that white strip less. Okay, so now I have a 12 by 18 selected. Now, if you go to a paper distributor, such as Expedex, Areva, or Millcraft, they may give you some sample sheets that are bigger than Tabloid Extra. So I'm going to call it Sample. 
Um, and those are 12 and a half by 19. And we can actually print on 12 and a half by 19. So in the width, again, I'm typing 12 and a half. And in the height, I'm going to type in 19. And we're going to set these at 0.12 again. Now, the nice thing is, is we can, yeah, that new printer, uh, the uh, 7800, you can adjust these. On the other printers, you may not be able to. So this is just for that new Xerox Phaser 7800 printer. So um, I hit OK, and I have now all three of those sizes. Uh, they're not available to click on, but they have been manufactured, and they're in the custom sizes area. If Now, since I don't have 12 and a half by 19 while I'm sitting here, I'm actually going to click Manage Custom Sizes and just choose 11 by 17 for now. But you would choose whichever one corresponds to the paper size that you have. I'm going to hit OK. And then I'm going to hit, as long, I want to check here, 11 by 17. If that's anything on 11 by 17, you may have to edit that uh, by checking it. But that's OK. I'm going to hit OK. Now, I'm pretty sure I'm ready to print, but let me double check. My bleed is at an eighth of an inch. My crop marks and registration marks are on. Registration marks are important because they um, basically show the center of where the document is. Let's me know where I fold. Uh, 11 by 17 is my paper size. The paper is centered. And I'm printing any blank pages in the event that I have any in the book. I'm double checking my page setup. Yes, it's Xerox Phaser. Now the last place I'm going to go is printer. Again, printer is down in the lower left-hand corner, and I'm going to set this to two-sided. By default, it may not show all these details. In fact, it usually doesn't. So click on show details and do not print on two-sided and just hit print. You actually have to think about this. So where it says two-sided off, click on either long edge or short edge. Now it doesn't really matter the, the verbiage being used here. What we're looking at is the picture. Right now, this would print calendar style, where one page is going to be backwards on the other. We don't want backwards pages on the reverse side, so we want to have it uh, more book style. So you'll see this image, the binding, when I've chose short edge binding. Sometimes when you choose long edge binding, if it's a tall document, it, you just want to go for this image. So it doesn't matter where it's short edge or long edge. Look at the picture. If the binding is over on the left, that's the one you want. So I'm going to hit print, and then I'm going to hit OK. And you'll see that my preview changed and that my pages fit within that 11 by 17 just nicely. And now I'm going to hit print. And what will happen is it will print front to back um, and it will uh, print in that paginated order. I do have an issue where I don't have some uh, graphics here linked. You would not hit OK, but for my demo it really doesn't matter. This is not a real finished piece. You would hit cancel and relink graphics through your links. I'm going to hit OK for the demo. I'm going to let it print. There's the little printer and it goes really fast. Um, it already processed and when I walk over there it will pr print it front to back, hopefully not upside down. If I print it upside down I know how to fix that. It's through file, print booklet, print settings, printer, and uh, here if it's upside down I choose the other one. Okay. So that concludes my printing for the Xerox Phaser 7800. Thank you.